What's up everyone? We are back with an incredibly easy farming strategy. So make sure you get liked and subscribe to the channel and let's just get into it. Now the reason this is so simple is because we are going to be using Back to Basics, which gives you a chance to get 0 to 80% more explicit modifier effect. That means quantity, weight, rarity, all of those things are going to rear a roll randomly onto your maps as extra. And we're going to be using this to farm scarabs. Along with scarabs, we are going to be farming for the corpses as well to get us uh, some good coffins to sell. So we're going to go down here and take the League Mechanic nodes down here. Uh, we we'll go down here and take a little bit more of the League Mechanic nodes. But for the most part, um, and also this one too, the Eternal Torment node. Other than that, we are focusing mainly on scarabs. We get the quantity nodes in the middle. We get the extra scarab chance also from the middle. Go down, get back to basics. And then just kind of ping pong around to get more scarabs. We get a little bit more map sustain just from going down to this, this node uh, and things like that. We go down here and turn off some of the other scarabs that we do not want. Expedition encounters, abyss scarabs, uh, turn off blight encounters, sound ritual encounters. Some people say turn off mirrors of delirium. But if you have seen my other farming videos, I love delirium. So I'd like to use these for myself. So I keep these on, but feel free to turn this off take a point out of something else. Now you can see I have 127 points out of 132. I still have some Maven invitations to do, but this is plenty uh, to work with right now. I can probably actually take this out and put this in a, another Scarab node. Uh, if you have more points and you've done more than I have, it's probably better to use those points to go down here, get a couple more uh, Scarab drop chance. But this tree will be in the description. You will notice that I take some of the mounting modifiers for a little bit more explicit modifier effect some more scarab chance down here i take singular focus for map sustain the maps you can run we'll talk about in a second and i also take shaping the skies for some extra some extra uh, map sustain these will help you drop more maps along with the connected map nodes like we said that we already get so that will help now the maps you run is really up to you but I suggest picking ones with higher map density, something like Burial Chambers or Crimson Temple. Not to mention, you're going to have the chance to get better div cards. Not so much Burial Chambers this league because Headhunter, uh, the value has tanked because of how broken some of the farming strategies were before they have been nerfed. So this one is still good be because of the quantity and it's pretty linear, uh, but the cards aren't worth as much. You can do Crimson Temple or Defiled Cathedral or, you know, some good pack density and uh, some good div card drop chances. I was still running Strand and Fields. That is still my favorite, not to mention you over-sustain a lot of these maps. And I have a lot of Strand and Fields maps saved up for my other farming strategies. But, you know, uh, Tropical Island is another one with decent density. That isn't a very complicated map. You can do very quickly. I've seen some people do Dunes. Uh, yeah, but what you want to do is whichever one you do, say if you're going to do Crimson Temple, I favor a bunch of Crimson Temple and then a couple of Forking River so I can ping pong between them. And, and the connecting map nodes on the Atlas tree are going to make it so more of each of them are going to drop. Namely, with Singular Focus, it's going to make it so only these two are going to drop with a 200% increased chance, but you will get no other kinds of maps from these maps. But... This is the only part of the strategy I think that is really, really up to you. This, this can vary on your preference and your taste. I'm going to sell this lore weave. But again, pack density is ideal, but it is not incredibly... Um, I mean, it is pretty important, but if there are other maps you enjoy running, it's not going to absolutely kill you. We're talking most pack densities range from the lowest to the highest, about 15 to 20%. So it's not like some maps have double the pack density of other maps or at least from my knowledge of playing for the last you know so many years but yeah yeah uh, pick one thing just, just enjoy now for the map device we are just running a percent increased quantity of items found in this map or whatever percentage you are at yours may be lower and also for the scarabs this can vary you do not need to use scarabs if you do not have scarabs yet you probably want to get into using scarabs scarabs are incredibly important part of the uh, all of poe now they have made that with the changes so eventually you're going to need to learn how to use scarabs but in the beginning when you're just getting currency 
if you know you're getting kind of a later start to the league or you're just new to the path of exile you can save up some currency before you buy scarabs or you can just farm them uh, yourself uh, these scarab of adverse adversaries and these divination scarabs I have farmed myself I have not bought in any of these scarabs yet but eventually you might want to buy them because they are they do help quite a bit but the scarabs you can use you can use the mysterious scarab this adds mysterious barrels and clusters you can have up to three of these don't suggest using three of these unless it's the only scarab you have but if you want to throw one into the map to buy slice that is fine the barrels just pop and have a chance to drop uh, items so you can get some more scarabs out of that uh, pretty self-explanatory the hunted traders one that just gives you more packs more drops from the hunted traders the scarab of adversaries is really good I highly suggest using this with this strategy if not using up to the limit of two you can see it says limit two on some of these scarabs that means how many you can use in a slot so we use two of these I usually just use one I am going to be running something like crimson temple or burial chambers so I want a little bit of extra divination card chance you can use up to two of these I'm just going to use one the horn scarab of nemesis is another good one uh, rare monsters have two additional modifiers that just improves the drops and the hunted traders so this would be a pretty solid one if you're running something like Crimson Temple. If you are running something like Strand or Tropical Island, there's a chance to drop the Fortunate card, which gives you, I think it's 12 of them, gives you two uh, Divine Orbs. So that's a good one, so you can always throw Divination Scarab in. Or you can just take the Divination Scarab out and run uh, two of these with Scarab of Adversaries, and then run your map, whichever map it is. Now, for the maps, you are going to want to run them rare if you can and with definitely some chisels on them if you can uh, always chisel your maps as white so you get five percent per chisel and then you can just hit them with an elk orb uh monsters cannot be leached from i cannot do that mod with this build this one is fine 85 percent not bad and then you run the map now again these maps are going to go very fast because of with the back to basics node you cannot get extra content so you are literally just running through and killing everything picking up the scarabs picking up the corpses and that is basically a very 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 simple strategy now with these nodes you should be able to map sustain very easily the connected along with the higher tier map nodes and shaping the skies over here should be very easy to sustain now the last thing is if you really want to take this farming strategy to the next level you are going to want to run it on tier 17 maps namely tier 17 maps that you re-roll until it says extra scarab quantity size. Let's see if I have one that has one when I unidentified as I probably do. More scarabs plus 90%. You could see it rolled at the top there. More scarabs 50%. You want to get the highest quality quantity possible on those. Let's see, more scarabs 50%. More scarabs 103%. This would be a great one. Uh, if your build cannot do that yet, just wait. Just run it on tier 16 maps. But if you have some tier 17 maps, you can run them. But because of the map sustain and just generally the strategy, you're going to drop a lot of tier 17 maps. And they are worth about 60 to 70 chaos at the time of making this video. So if you can't do them, just sell them at 60, 70 chaos. That's about three tier 17 maps for a divine. That just adds a little extra bonus onto this strategy. For these scarabs and coffins, I highly suggest just selling the scarabs for yourself. Selling them on something like TFT right now is a pain in the ass and most people hate tft as is so that's probably good news for them that it is better just to sell them yourselves it is not hard i would just sell the ones that are worth a little bit more this is worth two you can find some good ones that are worth quite a bit more this is worth about 100 or 0.7 div you can get three of these uh once you know save up for three of these and then sell it three for a divine or sell whatever ones you have the most of uh, I have a lot of delirium scarabs from buying them. We always resell them if I stop doing delirium and things like that. If you want to know what a scarab is worth, again, I highly suggest the Awakened POE Trade plugin if you are not using it. Most people use it. It is very safe. Link is in the description. Very easy to install. For the coffins, it's the same thing. You can use Awakened POE Trade, the updated version, to check it. Or if you want to make it really simple, you can go to poe.ninja and you can just simply go to coffins and you will see 
it is sorted by value you can see which ones are worth the most but that is the strategy guys very simple very quick like very mindless which if you have followed my channel you know i am a huge huge fan of so i highly suggest giving this a try make sure you throw a like on the video it helps me a ton also make sure you get subscribed i do a lot of farming videos a lot of tips videos gonna have probably a couple tips videos coming out this week get followed over on twitch.tv slash safe on talk where i'm streaming at least a couple times if not three four five times a week and make sure that you go join the discord please we uh, are a great community we're always talking there was an exploit play last night i saw on reddit really early was able to send that out before it got patched some of us got to use it it was just very very nice but yeah guys that's gonna do it for this video and we will catch you on the next one